question three. So part A is up here. So um, kick off by resolving um, vertically. So um, I've called the two forces um, the reactions are R and S because they're different. So what do we know? So we know the uh, forces upwards R plus S equal the downward force of 20G. So rearranging so I can use it in a simultaneous equation shortly, I've got S being 20G minus R. So that's my first equation. So now choosing to take moments about B, uh, I've got in the uh, anti-clockwise direction, I've got 5R. And in my clockwise direction, oh no, so that was the clockwise direction, excuse me. And then in my anti-clockwise direction, I've got 3 times 20G. So 5R equals 3 times 20G. Again, uh, divided by 5 to make R the subject, I get R being 12G. So R is 117.6 Newtons. So substituting that into the equation from earlier on, I can get S being um, 78.4 Newtons. So R is 117.6. Uh, so that's the uh, reaction at C, and S is 78.4, that's the reaction at B. Now, uh, for part B, uh, just to make sure that you've got the diagram looking like this. So taking moments about B, we've got 5T again in the clockwise direction, and in the anti-clockwise direction we've got 3 times 20G, and this unknown distance here between D and B, which I'm calling X, times 30G. So that gives me my first equation. Uh, now resolving uh, vertically. Now these two reactions are now equal. So, um, so I'm just calling them both T. So going upwards, I've got the two T's. Going downwards, I've got my 50G, these two together. So T equals 25G. So I've got two equations. So substituting two into one, I get this, allowing me to work out that x is 2 and a sixth. So this distance here is 2 and a sixth meters. I'm being asked to work out the distance from A to D. So that's the whole length 6 less my 2 and a sixth, which is 3 and 5 sixths meters.